So what is this great breakthrough in diabetes care and reversal? It is, are you ready for it? The continuous glucose monitor. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Dennis, you're behind the time. CGMs have been around for quite a few years. But there is a big difference now. For the first time in the history of the United States medicine, continuous glucose monitors can be purchased without a prescription. Yeah, you heard that right, without a prescription. At least one brand can here in the U.S., the Dexcom Stello, and the floodgates are soon going to be open and other brands will no doubt follow suit. Finally, 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 there is now available in the U.S. and also in Britain an over-the-counter CGM. For the first time, you do not need a doctor's prescription to wear a glucose sensor on your arm and discover your blood sugar patterns throughout the day. No longer will you have to suffer from sticking your finger several times a day. You can now get almost unlimited glucose readings throughout the day, and you don't even need to embarrass yourself by asking your doctor for a prescription, which, sadly, in many cases, those doctors will question your need for one and try to talk you out of wanting it. In the U.S., you can just go to the Dexcom website and order your CGM. When I found out about this, I wasted no time. I ordered my Stello CGM from Dexcom yesterday, and this morning they emailed me and told me my CGM had been shipped. I should have it in the next three days, and you can bet I'll be sharing some of the features of this device in the coming weeks. This is from the website medtechdive.com. They write Dexcom, uh, selling to the United States folks, and Abbott, selling in Britain, received Food and Drug Administration clearance for over-the-counter continuous glucose monitors in March and June, respectively. Although the devices use the same hardware as past CGMs, they're intended for a different group of users, people who do not take insulin. Dexcom is targeting people with type 2 diabetes who don't take insulin with its new Stello device, although Stello can also be used by people who don't have diabetes, thanks to a broad label from the FDA. Abbott, meanwhile, will split its over-the-counter products into two sensors, Lingo, which is intended for people who don't have diabetes, and Libre, Rio, which will compete more directly with Dexcom for type 2 non-insulin users. Some of the key features of the Dexcom Stello CGM are no finger sticks ever, the only over-the-counter glucose biosensor designed for people with diabetes that doesn't require any finger sticks. Secondly, up to 15-day wear time and waterproof. The longest biosensor wear time on the market with the highest waterproof rating. So I think up till recently, they usually offer a 14-day sensor. Now it's 15, so they beat the previous by one day. Also, they will provide a personalized, easy-to-use app, which provides daily, weekly, and session summary insights that can help form healthier habits. Also, spike and pattern detection, the only over-the-counter glucose biosensor for people with diabetes featuring spike detection designed to identify meaningful glucose variability as it happens so users can make informed changes. And as for the price, it's $99 if you buy it one time. But if you want to sign up for a monthly subscription, you'll get it for $89 per month. Well, as we get into this, let me do a little bit of complaining before I give you some more information and a few of my own thoughts. My first complaint and major complaint is why did CGMs ever require a prescription in the first place? Are we such dumb sheep that it's dangerous for us to learn what's going on in our bodies? It makes no more sense for the FDA to require a doctor's prescription for a CGM as it would if the doctor strictly forbade us to test our blood pressure with a blood pressure monitor. 
Can you imagine trying to purchase a blood pressure monitor at your local pharmacy and the clerk tells you, I'm sorry, I cannot sell this to you. You must have a prescription from your doctor to purchase this device, this blood sh- uh, pressure monitor. What absurdity. And yet, for years, diabetics and pre-diabetics and people concerned about becoming diabetics have been stopped from getting CGMs without a doctor's approval. And to make matters worse, many doctors would never approve these CGMs if you were simply concerned about your blood sugar and you weren't a desperate diabetic. They might even make you feel foolish for even asking for one. In some ways, it reminds me of the church way back in the Dark Ages when the priests discouraged Christians from reading the Bible. They felt that only they, the priests, were knowledgeable enough to explain the Bible. So to have the common, ordinary laymen reading the Bible themselves, well, who knows what terrible dangers and problems that could cause. And so millions of ordinary Christians never read the Scriptures, feeling unqualified to read the Bible for themselves. They'd just trust the priest to explain it all to them. And that's really not so different from doctors and diabetics. Diabetics have essentially been told, don't you try to figure all this out, little fella. Don't test your glucose levels on your own. You better just trust me. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Now shut up and take your meds. Most high-carb, plant-based advocates are entirely silent about glucose testing. And there's a good reason for this. They know full well that if you test your glucose spike about an hour and 15 minutes after eating a huge baked potato with a large helping of quinoa and a big banana, your glucose is going to be going through the roof and you'll stop listening to them. So instead, they just encourage you to listen to their words of wisdom and by no means test your own glucose after one of their recommended high-carb meals. We don't want you to get discouraged, little man, little woman. Just listen to us. We know what's best for you. But sadly, even my own people, the low-carb doctors and nutritionists, place little emphasis on testing your blood sugar. Their message is correct, avoid sugars and starches, but they, like the high-carb gurus, just want you to take their word for it. Again, their advice is, we know what's best for you. In this case, they actually do, they're right. The low-carb diet with time-restricted eating and the end of all snacking is exactly what people need to do. But they do not provide the most powerful weapon of all in beating diabetes, the euphoria and exhilaration of eating a high-carb meal and seeing terribly high numbers on their meter, and then eating a low-carb meal and seeing beautifully low numbers on that same meter, and then realizing they can make a difference about their blood sugar levels. But now, even without a prescription, At least in the U.S. and in Britain, you can order a CGM and be using it to test your glucose in about three days. And instead of getting a few numbers like you would from a normal glucose meter, you can see hundreds of glucose measurements all day long for 15 days per sensor. Now, if you do not live in the U.S. or Britain, you might be saying, well, Dennis, this is not going to do me much good. I can't get one where I live. And some of you may be thinking that $100 for two 15-day sensors is beyond your budget. And you're saying, well, it doesn't help me much. But the floodgates are opening, even if it's just a crack. And it's only a matter of time until these CGMs become better and better and cheaper and more available from numerous companies and in many different countries. This game changer has been let out of the box and it will never be put back. And until you can get your hands on one of these, well, there's always the lowly, humble, sweet, and lovable Mike the Glucose Meter who will be happy to steer you in the right direction. As more and more people start investigating their own blood sugar patterns, noting their spikes and dips, the low-carb diet and message is going to become more and more popular because it's going to confirm over and over and over again what we've been saying all this time. High carb meals equal high glucose levels and sharp glucose spikes, and low carb meals equal low glucose levels 
and low are non-existent glucose spikes. These new CGMs, which do not require a prescription, will hammer home this truth unmercifully until even the toughest critics have to admit the truth. There's no getting around it. The free availability of quality glucose meters is a game changer, and the CGMs make it so easy, and they do such a great job of testing over the long haul. This is a great day for the diabetic community. I want to remind you that we've grouped certain videos together into series that are available for you to download on your phones or computers. Out of the many hundreds of videos I've made about diabetes, I've put together three series that I consider to be the most important and fundamental for the newly diagnosed diabetic who is desperate to get their blood sugar down in a hurry. First is the original series I call the Diabetes Emergency Kit. Second is the series titled More Fundamentals of Beating Diabetes. And third is my latest series called Beat Diabetes in Six Months. And these are videos specifically created from our Beat Diabetes challenges. There'll be a link in the description that will take you to where you need to go to purchase any one or all three of these Beat Diabetes series. You can watch the videos immediately on your phone or computer and you can also download them. Also, I give you permission to copy these files, put them on a flash drive, and share them with someone you care about.